friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we are going to do an unstuffing of my cash envelopes. I think I might be over in some categories, so you'll see how I handle that, um, but it's just been a while and I need to just, you know, pull out some money, get it back to the bank, pay off my credit cards, all that. So we are gonna just start at the top and work our way down. So first up is my niece's birthday. So I pulled out $100 from the bank and gave that to, her, to my brother um, and sister-in-law for her, her 529 plan. They're saving for college for her already. So we're going to pull this $100 out um, because I did pay for that. So that will be this first charge. And then let's see if there's any other birthday charges. I do think there are. Yes, I also went to Learning Express here and got a couple toys for her. That was $29. So I'll also take out the 30 and I need to put back um, a dollar. So here are the ones I keep at home. So I am just going to take out 20 and also put down $21 bills. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that is how I'll do that. And we will put a dollar back for her birthday. So I was exactly on budget for that, which is really cool. And then let's see if I have any other birthday spending. Yes. Amazon for $44. That was for my dad's birthday. So I'll pull that out of mine. Um, so 115 minus 44. You know what I'll do is I'll take, cause I don't want to break that hundred. I'm going to take 30 from Brie. So 44 minus 30 is 14. So then I'll take the 15 from me and then actually and I'll put back one. So, and then I'll just refill Breeze because I still haven't bought her anything. So I will rearrange money as I need to. Okay, so that is it for birthdays. Let's see if there's anything else in Baby Blue while we already have her open. So these are a lot of spending categories. Um, yes, those are all spending, I think. And then yeah, that might be it actually for her. Okay, so let's move on and do my wallet since groceries is next. So this one, <laughs> there are a lot of charges. So we'll start in groceries, which we are going to pull out first $48 for this food lion. So we're starting with 310 and we're gonna take out 48. So we should have 262. So we'll keep two, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, wait, 200, 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, and then one and two. You'll see the method to my madness soon. So one, two, 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, one, two. 262 now in groceries. And then we need to take out another 25 for Food Lion. So we'll pull out a 20 and a five for that. And then we need to pull out seven here for Whole Foods. So five, six, seven. And then 25 for Harris Teeter. So we'll pull out 30 and put back a five. And then Whole Foods, another 14. So let's see where we're at now. We have 205 and we need to take out 14 and then we need to take out another 21. So I should have 170 after these two charges. So one, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 166, 
seven, eight, nine, one seventy. Okay. And then we've got 47 at Harris Teeter. So we'll take out seven, five, six, seven, and then 40. 20, 30, 40. And then 25, another 25 at Harris Teeter. So 10, 15, 21, 2, 23, darn it. So I have 100, I'm gonna have to break another 100. We have 1, 10, 15, 23. 123 minus 25 means I should have 98 left in here. So I'm just gonna break this 100 off to the side and get two 50s. Um, those should be in here. So now we should have 50, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98. 50, 70, 80, 95, 6, 7, 8. Yep. So that will take us there. And then let's see if there's any more. Amazon for 37. So 98 minus 37. I should have 61. So let's take out 20, 30, 5, 6, 7. And that is 61. And then 14 for Whole Foods. Oh, I should have 47. 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, and 47. And then that's it. So we end with 20, 30, 45, 46, and 47 in groceries. Not quite the denominations I want, but that's okay. Phew, that was a big one. So now on to dining out. Dining out is going to start with 50, 70, 90. And then I'm gonna take out $16 for a dinner I had with my volleyball team. So I'll put down this 20 and take four ones. One, two, three, four. So now we have 74. And let's see if there's any other dining out. 23. So 21, two, three, we'll take out. That was for a taco place Colin and I went to. And then 15 for when we were at the airport heading to a wedding. I had to get food. So we'll take out 15. So 51 minus 15, so we should have 36. So 20, 35, and 36 in there. Minus 19, so I should have 17. And then that's it. So 17 is the final in dining out. So far we have not busted a category, so that's good. I know it's gonna happen though. Um, household is next. We got some firewood for, my part of that is 36. So 120 minus 36, so I should have 84. So 50, 75, one, two, three, four, five, 80, and then one, two, three, Four. I think I'll be able to get rid of those. So I'm just going to leave all those ones for now. Um, and then we've got... $12 off of Amazon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll put back. And then I need a five. So I'll put this five back. So there's that. And then another household for 21. Put this back. And then another household for 41. So I have 51 now. So 
so I should have just $10 left, which of course I don't have a 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, but then I pay 10. I wish I had seen that before I did all that. So this goes right back. So household is at a flat zero and I don't know how I did that, but that was not intentional, but that was it for that. Um, Costco's in another binder, so I'm going to skip that. So is gifts, gym, all of these. Let's see if there's any more spending. Gas. Let's do gas. So we're starting with 85 and we're going to take out 44. So we should be left with 41. So 41 in gas is left. And then let's see if there's any other gas. Nope. So 41 it is for gas. And now let's see. Those are all in long-term spending. And spending though is in here. We are taking out $14 because I have a spoon rack that was my grandma's and I bought a spoon um, while I was in Boston visiting my family. So that was $14. So we'll take out this and I need to put back six, right? Because that's 25 minus 14. That should be 11. Yeah. So I'm going to put this back and get a 10 and a one. So I feel like I'll need more fives than tens. And then... Another five needs to come out of spending. So JK putting the 10 back, grabbing a five because um, that was for parking. So now we have $6 in spending and that is it for that. And then let's see what else is in this binder. Bagels and coffee. I got a coffee at work and that was $6. So uh, 50 minus six should be 44. 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 44 now in bagels and coffee. And then that is it, I think, for this. So let me go back to, I think, dining, was dining out the one with the weird denominations? No, maybe it was groceries. But I want to, like, make the denominations make sense. So, yeah, let's take out those two tens and put in this 20. And I think that's it for this binder. So we're not over in anything on that. So that's great. But now let's go on to our long-term spending. Starting with this Costco for $106. So 100 and we'll take out a 10 and put back four ones. One, two, three, four. There's that. And then I know there's another, at least one more Costco on here. Yes, 132 is next. So 50, 71, two, three, and four. So we're not gonna check that off. Um, and let's see if, no, that's the only other Costco. So 50, 70, one, two, let's take out and leave these two. So 50, 74 is what, so 132 is what we need minus, I just paid off 72 of that. So now we have $60 that we still need. And I have an idea of where I'm going to take that from, but let's do that at the end. Okay, so that was Costco. On to gifts. And we're going to pull out $12 for that. I got a card at CVS, so we'll pull out a 20. 20 minus 12. 8, so 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 103, so I threw the knot, um, donated 103 sort of towards someone's honeymoon fund. So take that out. And then 76 for 
Amazon for my friend Cody's wedding. So 20, 45, and 50 is all I have. So actually we're not done with that. We're over on that too. So 76 minus 50, it means we still need $26 there. And I have an idea of where to pull that, but we will wait and do that at the end. Okay, so that's it for gifts. Gym is in bills, we'll do that later. Fitness and wellness, let's do that. So I got a tank top for $30, so we'll take out 40 and put back 10. And then 123 for core nutritionals. So now we're over already. So why do I keep checking things off before they're actually? So 123 minus 115 means we need $8, which I'm gonna pull that actually from buffer because that's small enough. So 123 minus 115 and then let's jump back to buffer and then eight dollars means we need to put back 12 10 11 12 now in buffer and now that is paid for one less one we have to come back to let's just make sure that's the only fitness wellness one Nope, we have another $60 for Fabletics. So that one I'm gonna come back to. All right, self-care, let's do that. We're gonna take out 142 for the wax pass. So we'll take out 150. My math isn't working in my brain today. So we'll put back eight, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think there was another charge, 13 for tip. So 10, 11, 12, 13. And then let's see if that was it. Yes, okay, so that one's not over. That's great, we have five left. And then going out is in here. I paid $33 for parking at a concert. So we're gonna take out this 50 and put back 17, 10, 15, 16, 17. And there, and I think that's the only charge for that envelope. And then, oh, nope, $26. So I'm gonna take out this 100, take out this 100. So let's see, we have 217 minus 26. So I should have 191. So 150, 70, 91. So this can go down. Now I think that's it for going out. Yep, okay. All right, so that is the first page of this done, minus a couple we need to go back to. And then, let's see, gifts, another 27. Aren't I already over on that? Yep, I don't even know what that one was for. Okay. So let's go to bills and we'll circle back to this one. So jumping back to gym, we have $50 for my gym membership that needs to come out and then $40 for small groups, 20, 35, and 40. And then let's see if anything else for gym needs to come out. Yes, $59. So 100 minus 59 means 41 needs to go back in. And that should be everything. So there's that. And then giving in my bills binder needs $26 to come out. If I only have 20. 
I'm going to take 10 from Apple. So we'll take out 30 and put back one. Nope. Take out 30, put back four. I don't have any more ones. So I'm going to take a 20 and grab 20 more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then one, two, three, four. I will put an apple. So I'm going to add in here apple so I can update that tracker. And then let's see if there's any other bills. We've got apple needs nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. That kind of worked out a little too perfect but we will take it. And then that is it for my bills binder. So there's that. Now let's do big blue. Okay, we're gonna start in travel. I think that's the only one actually that we're really doing anything with. So travel in family, I need to take out 35 because I checked a bag. So we have 200 minus 35. So we'll have 165, 50, 65. I think I have another in here. Travel family for 19. So 50 minus 19. 31, so 20, 31. And then I think I have another one as well, which is this 35. So 20, 35, which was for an, the checked bag on the way home. And I think that's it for a travel family. Yes. So technically that's it for travel in general, but, 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 but. We've got this gift, which was a wedding gift. And so I'm gonna pull the remaining $26 out of wedding. So I'm gonna say gifts and wedding. So take 50 minus 26 should be 24, right? Yep. 20, one, two, three, four. So there's that. I'm gonna leave that 26 so I remember how much I took. Travel wedding. And then this gift's 27. I can't remember what that was for. Was that my dad's birthday too? Maybe it was. I'm just gonna take that out of birthdays. So let's. back to that but Costco I'm gonna take the rest of that $60 out of home I think or household how much do I have left in household I don't think I have 60 no I had zero okay so we're gonna take that out of hmm I think I'm gonna take it out of furniture because it was for a rug and that's not really furniture but it's close enough so okay 505 minus 60. So furniture. So I should have 445 in here. So one, two, three, four. Or should I do prop? I'm gonna do real because I don't have enough and I don't want to mess up my brain. So 420, 45 now in furniture. And then I still need to pay for that fitness and wellness, this gifts, which I'm gonna pull from birthdays and then just intentional living stuff. So let's go back to birthdays and do that one. So $27 is what I need to pull. So here's $1. 
then here's another. My niece is done, so I'm gonna throw that away. So $2 minus 27. So I only have 25 more dollars. So I'll pull this 100 out and put back 75. 50, 75. And I'll put 25 of that in Brie since her birthday has already passed. I need to get that sorted. Okay. So this was actually came out of birthdays. And then fit, this $60 for fitness and wellness is killing me. I don't know where to take that one from. It was for Fabletics, so I could take it out of clothes, but I kind of was wanting to buy clothes soon. Um, so let's put what's left in Buffer. I'll pull 10 from Buffer. So that's 50 I need left. And then pull five from self-care or let's not do that. Let's pull it from one place. Just make it easy. Let's pull it from planners because I'm not going to be buying a planner soon. I mean, I will, but I'm, I have time to rebuild. So we'll pull that from buffer and planner. I'm going to keep that starred just so I remember that I did that. And then let's triple check. I'm done with this page. Yes. So now we're gonna move on to my small business binder. We're gonna pull 15 out of YouTube premium bills. 10 and a five out of there. And then 30 out of QuickBooks. all of that. I don't know why these are already checked. And then 27 out of Instant Ink. I only have 25, so let's see where I could pull two ones. Pull that out of YouTube Premium, so instead of having 20, I'll have 18 in there. And then equipment, we're gonna pull out 292 because I got a bunch of new stuff, like a new tripod, um, microphone, which I need to try out, new SD cards, new new um, batteries for my camera, all that. So 200, we'll pull out 300 and put back eight. All right. I think that is everything. That was a long one. Now let's count and see how much is going back to the bank for this unstuffing. And some of it came needs to come out of the bank in terms of my savings account, which is what the prop money represents. So we have five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five hundred, fifty, six hundred, fifty, seven hundred, fifty, eight hundred, fifty, nine hundred, nine fifty, two thousand, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety one, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy five, eighty five, ninety five, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So two thousand two hundred and eighteen dollars is what is going to the bank or out of the bank <laughs> into paying off my credit card. So thank you so much for watching and being here and I will catch you in my next one. Subscribe if you're not already.